Good afternoon, traders. It's Tracy here bringing you another TradingView tutorial. And for those of you that don't know me, I am one of the mentors over at Real Life Trading. So if you're interested in learning more about how we trade or checking out some of our free contact, please come check us out at www.reallifetrading.com. All right. Now, what I want to discuss today is how to um, how to share your trading view. Uh, chart layout with somebody else or if you are on the receiving end how to import somebody else's chart layout into your own uh, trading view now on the left hand side I have my pro plus version of trading view open and on the right hand side I have a free version of trading view now there are some limitations with the free version and I'll have to show you some walk arounds um, on how to do this with the free version but uh, for all intents and purposes if you're using any version higher than the free you shouldn't run into these problems so the first thing that you want to do is in order to share a chart you have to go up into this menu up top here and you're gonna see a little cloud and if you've never sh saved a chart before it's gonna say unnamed just like it does right over here so this is a clean chart over here it's never never saved anything it says unnamed now right beside that you're gonna see a little arrow now you click on the arrow and you want to make sure that sharing is on if it's off it'll look like this you want to click it to make sure that it is on now this is only important if you're the one that's sharing okay so once that's done now you're able to share your content so now then the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is go up into the URL select it and then copy it now you can send that link over to the person that you want to share so in this case it's over on this chart here so I'm going to paste that link into the URL and there you go now you can see that we're on DDD systems or triple D system 3d systems the charts the same it imported the color the background color it's got the same the EMAs and the moving averages that I have over here it does say view only mode right now you're viewing my chart layout okay now in order for you to actually save this you need to hit copy now on the free version you're only allowed to make one chart layout you're only allowed to have one chart layout so if I click on this right now it's going to just say that I'm limited to only one chart layout so here's the workaround go up into the three bar menu on the side click on it highlight the current chart right here go down to all layouts click on it and then right beside this chart layout you want to hit the X and delete it confirm it yes now you have no layouts hit the X to close it now when you click on copy you're allowed it'll open up the box to rename it so let's just call this new chart layout okay hit save now you can see that we have full access to the chart again this is now on your trading view you're no longer viewing my trading view now the thing is is that is that that just gets you into here the, the new chart layout you've got it here you've saved all the same things that you've saved over here but if you make any changes to this chart uh, and then and then open it again whatever's the last changes were done that were saved to this will stay the same so if you're wanting to actually save any of these indicators uh, you need to do a few more things so let's start with the indicators the first thing that you're going to want to do to save these indicators is go up to the button right here where it says indicator templates it's the vertical lines with the little squiggly line on top and you want to click that indicator templates so you click it and then what you want to do is save indicator templates now in the free version you're only allowed to do one of these so let's just save this as long-term moving averages okay now there is an option here to remember the symbol if you want it to always uh, go to the same chart and uh, remember the interval so if you want it to be always going to the daily chart you could do that as well and whatever interval you're on when you save this that's what it'll remember in this particular example we're gonna leave this blank for now now you can see that it's saving two EMAs, two moving averages, another EMA, uh, the volume and the average true range. So let's save this. Now I get a lot of people ask as well, what are these little circles with the letters or numbers in them? 
this is what they are. So if you go back up to the vertical lines with the horse or the um, squiggly line on top, the indicator templates button, click on it. You'll see that that long-term moving average template that we just created is now sitting under my templates. If you go beside it and click a star beside it, that puts that little circle with an L. So watch that again. I'll take that off, disappears, put it back on. That's the long-term moving averages that we just created right here. So now, if we go back onto this chart, and if we were to delete, let's just say, let's delete all of these. Now they're, they're off the chart. Now what you can do is click on that L, and they immediately come back onto the chart. So that's a, a shortcut button. Now again, the free version only allows you to do one of your own. You can highlight the ones that are already existing in here if you're interested and then you can just bounce between all of these different indicator templates all right and if you want to remove them just go back in and delete the star and there you have it okay so that saves the indicators now if you want to save the chart background the next thing that you want to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and there's a little circle that looks kind of like a sun you want to click on that and hit the settings button from there what you're going to do is hit template and then you're going to save as and let's just put uh, light trading setup and hit save click OK now if uh, let's just say we go back to the default so you can click that little sun like button again click settings go to template and then apply defaults it goes back to the white and you notice it only changed the background it didn't do anything to the indicators okay so now we've changed the background changed the candle structure the candles are now red and green it's gone back to the default we want to put it back to our setup that we had before so you click the circle let's just do that again click the circle that looks like a sun go to settings go down to template and then let's pick the light trading setup which is the one that we selected already click OK and now you're back to that gray background that I have um, that doesn't have any of the um, bars and lines that the default uses so that's how you save the indicators and the background setup into your own chart now if you do anything to this chart layout you can change it around you can muck up muck it up all you want you have those templates set up that you can put it back if you if you choose to do so all right now the other thing that I want to point out here is that when you did this you were copying everything from my chart layout not just what was on this screen so for instance if I was to go over to PayPal right now see what I've got this little thing here now let's go over to PayPal here see what happens Ooh, there it is so you copied pretty much everything that I had in that chart in my chart layout you've copied into your own chart layout as well so you've taken any of the um, any of the uh, artwork or the drawings they'll all be transferred over as well all right so just keep that in mind that if you um, if you are doing that you're going to be getting all of the positions that might be loaded or any of the drawings that are in my entire chart um, on this um, that I've shared with you all right so that's kind of how that works and there is no other way of doing it unfortunately um, this is kind of the easiest way so you you do need to make a couple steps if you do plan on uh, saving more than one chart layout for instance if you're wanting to get uh, Jeremy's indicator for long-term moving averages you'll need to save the long-term moving averages just like I've, I've shown you and then get a link again with his uh, daytime or day trading EMAs or something and then you can you can do the same process but keep in mind that uh, he needs to share the link with you live it needs to be done live because any changes made to that chart after the fact uh, before you actually import it into your chart will show up so for instance um, if I was to if I was to go back to let's just go DDD and I'm going to delete my moving average. Actually, I'm just going to turn on something else. I'm going to go into 
my day trade setup, for instance, I'll go to the five minute chart. Okay. And I'm going to save my chart. So now I've saved my chart. Now I have not copied the link again. I'm using the same link that I already did and I'm going to copy it again. And if you notice what happens that we're on the five minute chart and the same setup that I have over on this side is also here. So it brought over exactly what I'm doing, what what's current in the live. So that, that link will not stay active if I've changed my chart. So you need to do it kind of right away. All right. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, throw them in the chat below. I'd be happy to get back to you, but this is the quick and easy way of sharing your chart setup with somebody else or to take it on from someone else. All right. Cheers, everyone. Happy trading. Mm -hmm.